click on the subscribe button and remember to press the bell icon for regular notifications from our digital blogger hello friends welcome to our digital blogger today we are going to review access direct versus hdfc securities both of these are bank based stock brokers a lot of people have some sort of confusion when they opening their accounts with the banks in this comparison we will detail out the complete differences so that you can understand what exactly are we talking about in this comparison we will be talking about company background account opening charges brokerage exposure or leverage offered across segments accuracy of research performance of trading platforms and some of the features that can help you to figure out which of these two stock brokers is a better choice for you let's get started So starting the company backgrounds both Access Direct and HDFC Securities as mentioned earlier are bank based stock brokers HDFC Securities was launched in the year 2000 while Access Direct is 6 years younger to it launched in the year 2006 now when it comes to number of branches offline presence there are around 73 sub broker and franchise offices of Access Direct while HDFC Securities is present around 250 locations now we are talking exclusively about Access Direct and HDFC Securities respectively we are obviously not talking about their bank branches as far as exchanges are concerned Access Direct has a membership with National Stock Exchange BSC MSEI and MCXSX while HDFC Securities runs its memberships with BSC and NSC only if you're looking to open an account with them Access Direct and HDFC charge you similar 999 rupees for trading account no charges for trading account AMC no charges for demat account opening as far as demat account AMC is concerned you need to pay 650 rupees to access while 750 is what being charged by HDFC securities so more or less they are on a similar level as far as account opening and maintenance is concerned if you're talking about brokerage on a similar level access direct charges you 0.5% for equity delivery HDFC securities has a cap of minimum 25 rupees and if you talk about intraday segment HDFC securities charges you double then access does 0.05% versus 0.1 Similarly, if you can look at the whole screen here, you will be able to figure out more or less they are on a similar level. So, how does uh, the brokerage gets calculated? Now, we'll take the example of equity delivery. Let's say if you are trading for one lakh rupees, in case of uh, HDFC Securities, you will be charged five hundred rupees as brokerage only. Now, this is a huge, huge money just for brokerage, especially with the advent of discount brokers. where they have a flat rate of 10 rupees 20 rupees per executed order paying 500 is really a hefty amount similarly access direct on more or less charges you same level but if the trading turnover is small if you are trading for let's say few thousand rupees then in that particular case the minimum brokerage charges will be applied which is 20 rupees in case of access direct and 25 rupees in case of hdfc similar level calculations can be done at a percentage basis for other segments too now moving ahead if you talk about exposure or leverage for people who don't understand this concept basically it's kind of a short term loan offered by your stock broker at a specific interest rate now this interest rate can be in the range of 15% 20% 23% and in case of these two stock brokers well access direct gives you 10 times for intraday while hdfc gives you 20 times but that is pretty much it there's nothing beyond that you can look for in other segments there's nothing really provided as far as exposure is concerned having said that this is a risky concept you need to understand the implication and risk of using a exposure or leverage unless you do that unless you understand we advise you not to risk your money not to risk your trading capital in this concept Moving ahead if we talk about customer service well both of these stock brokers provide you similar number of communication channels access direct has email support phone toll free number and 73 offline branches hdfc on the other hand has email support live chat phone and offline branches in the range of around 250 now number is similar but the only difference is the turnaround time so the 
when you put your query put your concern against the store support executive of the stock brokers the time they take to come back with a resolution is called turnaround time in case of access direct is pretty good pretty quick while stfc securities lags quite a bit and needs to improve in that particular aspect other than that you can pick any of these two stock brokers but when it comes to turnaround time of customer service access direct is far better than stfc securities research and trading products well both of these stock brokers are full service so they do provide you all kinds of reports recommendations tips and analysis across industries across domains across indices but the point here is accuracy and performance of these research and reports well access direct has a structure in place they've got three types of rep, uh, recommendations one is the investment ideas the other is research reports and then they also have a mechanism for diy research do it yourself research where they have a set of tools that can help you to perform your own analysis at intraday at technical or fundamental level so it's pretty structured in nature and certainly comes better as far as performance is concerned stsc securities on the other hand has still relied on primitive methods of research they do provide regular rec uh, recommendations and reports but when it comes to accuracy and performance well they need to improve on multiple aspects they need to understand the uh, the implication of technology when it comes to research and how it can be integrated with that particular process so from that perspective again access direct is far far better than stfc securities in number of trading segments again commodity is one area that you cannot trade or invest in other than that uh, there are around 8 to 10 uh, trading and investment products that you can use from both of these stock brokers and there is not much of a difference in that particular stream finally if you talk about some other features well it really depends whether you need these features or not for example robo advisory is not provided by either of these two stock brokers while automated trading is provided by access direct and is not provided by hdfc three in one account well this is a typo here three in one account is definitely provided by access direct and hdfc securities basically what it means is your bank account is integrated with your trading account and you do not need to do manual fund transfers every time it happens automatically and that helps especially the beginners or small investors who do not have much of an understanding of how trading or how the stock market works so these are multiple areas we have talked about now finally we will be talking about and spending some time on trading platforms offered by these two stock brokers we'll start with their mobile app and for that we need to check out google play store so hdfc securities mobile app is rated at 4.0 by around 15,230 users out of that around 14% of the users have rated this app negatively overall satisfaction score stands at around 86% which is better than the industry standards if you look at the stats here the last update were done on 19th of june 2017 we are recording this video in the first week of july so it's been around a couple of weeks that this app has seen the last update generally around uh, four to five weeks it takes uh, hdfc securities to update the mobile app once which is again a uh, standard that is uh, matched up with the industry requirements number of installments are in the range of one to five lakh again a good number so number wise this application definitely looks good there are a couple of issues um, you will find some problems in using your portfolio section with this application and in some areas or especially if you're using a lower internet connection bandwidth you might find this app relatively slow as far as performance is concerned other than that it certainly is a usable mobile application for trading and can give you decent user experience along with multiple applications on the other hand if you talk about access direct mobile app well this is rated at 3.8 by around 8000 users out of that around 20 percent of them have rated this app negatively overall satisfaction score stands at around 80 percent so definitely hdc securities mobile app is looking better than access as far as numbers are concerned the last update was done on 7th of april 2017 in this case uh, it takes around 8 to 10 weeks to see one update uh, which is definitely far back far rather far worse than the industry standards number of installs again are in the range of one to five lakh but number wise and performance wise hdc securities is certainly a better application in this case of Rexis Direct, there are multiple types of concerns. One, the research reports and recommendations are not really updated on a regular basis, so that kills the purpose of using tips and research. The number of features are also limited, so you might find some sort of usability issues here. 
and then again like in case of HDFC securities access bank access securities mobile app also see some issues in the speed part the app hangs at times which is a big no for a trading application so certainly both from quantitative and qualitative aspects STFC securities mobile app is certainly better than access direct ones now let's talk about other trading platforms offered by both of these stock brokers and for that we need to head to a digitalblogger.com so like any conventional full service stock broker access direct provides you all kinds of trading platforms the first one is swift trade which is a terminal based software you need to download this install this onto your computer and laptop it is a conventional software it is mature as well in terms of performance and speed and especially in terms of number of features it provides as you can look at the screen here it gives you multiple types of market watch obviously research tips and recommendations are available with the help of a single click you can personalize and customize multiple features of this application and certainly you can use uh, some shortcut keys for quick order placement and other features then there is a web portal which doesn't require any sort of download or install you need to go to a specific link put in your user id and password and you can start trading now this is a lightweight application it requires you to have a basic uh, configuration of the device you're using it is responsive as well so you can use it across any particular device be it a desktop laptop computer mobile or a tablet number of features are also exhausted mobile app is something we already discussed well it needs to work upon some of the features uh, which are lacking some of the areas such as performance app getting hanged well these are special concerns bigger issues and access direct certainly needs to focus uh, to provide better trading applications for the mobile users then there is stfc securities or uh, trading platforms stfc secure is the browser based application you need to go to the website of stfc securities click on login put in your details and again you can start your trading right from here it is also pretty exhaustive as far as number of features are concerned user experience is pretty good especially if you talk about the technical or fundamental analysis features you get heat maps uh, you get technical indicators different types of charts so all of that really helps you to perform your analysis in a very smooth way then there is uh, stsc securities blink it is again a terminal based software high speed and performance are two special areas number of features are also good but one thing that needs to be worked upon is that it's a paid software it is not free stsc securities will charge you 6 months of fees for around 3000 and 4000 rupees for one year so make sure you have a detailed understanding with the executive of the stock broker and these payments are to be paid in advance if you use this particular terminal software mobile app again we have discussed far better than the one provided by the uh, stfc direct one so when it comes to trading platform well more or less stf securities wins the race be it a terminal based software if you are open to pay the price go for hdfc blink otherwise swift trade from access direct is also good web based application more or less they are similar mobile app of stfc securities is better than the one provided by access direct now it's up to your requirements and based on that you can make a choice so that is it as far as comparison between these two bank based full service store brokers is concerned we have talked about multiple aspects here it really depends on your requirements your needs and require preferences from your stock broker and based on that you can pick either of these two however if you need some expert advice if you need some help from our end to make sure you get the most suitable stock broker for yourself you can do is what you can check out is dash So that's it as far as comparison between these two bank based full service stock brokers is concerned we have talked about multiple aspects starting from company background pricing brokerage customer service trading platforms products research now it's up to your requirements and based on that you can choose either of these two stock brokers if you need some help or advice in selecting the most suitable stock broker for yourself what you can do is check out this link erdisteblogger.com slash free callback broker choice put in your details there and we will be setting up a call back for you absolutely free so that's it thank you so much for watching the video we hope you liked it in case you did please go ahead and press the thumbs up button we'll really appreciate that you can also subscribe to our facebook twitter tumblr slideshare and youtube uh, social media accounts with the same handle at a digital blogger we hope to provide you better content in form of videos articles presentations 
podcast and a lot more in the future thank you so much again for watching the video bye bye